Our top story tonight at 11. Friends of 21 year old Neil Patel are still trying to figure out why the man they say was loved by everyone was killed. 41 NBC's Joy Duke spoke to a couple of Patel's friends just a few days after he was found dead in Macon from a gunshot wound. Joy. Michael, Bibb County investigators still don't know who shot Neil Patel and left his body face down in the woods behind a Macon rec center. I spoke to two people close to Patel. They say they're left missing a friend and desperate for answers. It's a story you'll see only on 41 NBC. Everybody loves him here. And I miss him a lot. He was my roommate. He was the only person I could talk about anything. Friends of 21-year-old Neil Patel say before he became Macon Bibb's 30th homicide victim, he was a great friend, employee, and all-around nice guy. I don't understand how a guy like him get in a situation like that. He was just an innocent person. He used to play video games and all. He had some friends here. That's it. He used to play video games all the time. That was his passion. His former roommate and co-worker, Ashwani Gill, says he last saw the New Jersey native before leaving for work on the 18th, just one day before Patel was scheduled to head home for the holidays. Gill says when he returned home from work, Patel was nowhere to be found. All the doors inside were open, lights were on, fans were on. He wasn't there. So first I thought maybe he left to his place because he was about to leave for Christmas to New Jersey. Gill says he knew something was wrong when he saw Patel's wallet and ID were still at the apartment. The only thing that was missing were the victim's Xbox One and TV. All this stuff is here, so we called the cops. And then they found that body and then we got to knew all this. He told me he went missing. I just thought he probably just snuck off back to Jersey. He didn't sneak off back to Jersey, obviously. Patel's body was found lying face down in the woods with a gunshot wound three days after family and friends put out the initial missing persons report. It was some arguments involved, but, but we don't know who. We got that secondhand information, and that's it. He, he never had any type of violence, never talked in any kind of negative way. He was just a good dude. Both men say they don't know who would have done this or why, but that Patel may have gotten mixed in with the wrong crowd. At this time, there are no other updates on where detectives are in the investigation, but Coroner Leon Jones says his office is working side by side with Bibb County Sheriff's Office to find Patel's killer and put his family and friends at ease. Now, if you have any information regarding this homicide investigation, contact the Bibb County Sheriff's Office at 751-7500 or Crime Stoppers at 1-877-68-CRIME. Mm.